the north than any ship that safely returned has ever sailed. The cold does things to a man. This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail to Reaction. I think I understand why H.P. Lovecraft is so difficult for many directors to adapt. Conversely, also why someone like Guillermo del Toro is the perfect choice to adapt H.P. Lovecraft. Remember, from what we understand H.P. Lovecraft to have been like, he was probably very much a racist, which is to say he had issues with people different than him. Issues that were mostly nonsense, which most racism is. But racism is another thing. It's based on self-loathing. It's self-hatred directed outward as opposed to inward. The racist will hate someone not for something that someone has actually done, but for what they believe someone has done or they believe someone is. Once again, the self-loathing of the racist is real. What's my point? Most directors don't understand that. That's not to say that you have to hate yourself to direct Lovecraft well, though I get the feeling it wouldn't hurt. Though what I am saying is that you have to understand that. And once you understand it, then it opens up avenues for you. And the reason why I think Guillermo del Toro can adapt Lovecraft particularly well is that he understands that fact. Keep in mind, Guillermo del Toro wants to adapt Frankenstein. It's one of his favorite stories, supposedly. And the entire basis of that creature is self-loathing. It finds itself unattractive. It feels like it's going to be alone forever. The creature understands that. Guillermo del Toro understands that. And I think you would see that echoed in his version. And I think you would see such traits in his Lovecraft adaptations. That's what you need for a great Lovecraft adaptation. Because that very self-loathing is at the heart of everything Lovecraft wrote. And that's not to say I hate his writing. Actually, I think he's a great writer. I think he's also verbose as hell. But on the whole, he is a very good, if not great, writer. And his Cthulhu Mythos is one of the most interesting worlds, I think, on paper. But at the heart of it is self-loathing. You understand that here you get Lovecraft. And if you get Lovecraft, you can create in that world. Otherwise, you're just talking about monsters and spooky visuals, which on the surface, Lovecraft is. But if you're not getting that deeper resonance, it's, I wouldn't say pointless, but you're missing a large part of what makes it great. The reason I mention this is because there's a movie coming out called Freeze, directed by Charlie Sheets. And it revolves around, it looks almost as if at the Mountains of Madness by H.P. Lovecraft. I don't think it will be that great, if only because of the reasons I already stated. In any case, let's take a look at the trailer for Freeze. The official trailer. We are in the middle of a half-frozen polar ocean, Gideon. Further north than any ship that safely returned has ever sailed. The cold dust things clean. to a man's mind gives him strange inclinations. This place, it doesn't care about you. It only knows that we are warm flesh and blood. And how to freeze the very life from us. The Arctic has no mercy. We have a month at best before starvation takes hold of all of us. It looks like we weren't the first to find this place. There's something in the car, get on, Captain. Suck a piece. Suck Years I've waited for you to find me. Years I've suffered in this freezing darkness. These hunters can be cruel. Could be sitting rationally anymore. Don't you understand? 
to find this place when all is lost. Why help them down here? They lost themselves in these mountains of madness. This is the unrelenting Arctic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was the trailer for Freeze, and sight unseen, I'm willing to bet Charlie Steeds does not get Lovecraft, because first off, he put his monsters on full display. Never mind Lovecraft for a moment, just think about suspense. Why are you giving that away so openly in a trailer? I would have thought a better approach would have been to use the trailer to build up tension and suspense. And the situation that these people seem to be in, I think warrant that approach. Don't reveal your monster. Because if your monster doesn't look great, and let's be honest, these monsters didn't, then that's a bit of a problem. Though in his defense, at least they seem practical. That didn't look like CGI to me. I don't think they look great, but they didn't look like CGI. And that's something. But that being said, I don't know if Charlie Steeds, who once again directed Breeze, understands what Lovecraft is about. This trailer spent way too much time dealing with the monster. It reminds me of Dreams in a Witch House from Guillermo del Toro's Cabinet of Curiosities, in that it feels very monster of the week, which, once again, should not be something you get from Lovecraft. Though, what do you think? This is Brian with ScreenFiles.com and Trail to Reaction. If you agree, disagree, let me know down below. And as usual, consider a like or a follow. Peace.